Okay, we're going to make a video about uh, why absolute value inequalities have two conditions. This is something that students do uh, sometimes, but sometimes it's not easy to understand what's behind this. So let's talk about those two conditions. Before we're going to work about, uh, we're going to talk about the the equation with, with the equal, the absolute value with the equal sign. So absolute value of x equal 4 that means that x could be equal 4 or x could be equal negative 4 for those two numbers um, this one is true because remember that absolute value of 4 is equal 4 but also absolute value of negative 4 is equal 4 so if x is 4 or negative 4 this one it would be correct that would be true so how would that work in inequalities let's go over there so we have here the inequality of um, absolute value of x is greater than 4 what does it mean it means that the x could be x could be any number greater than 4 but also x could be any number less than negative 4 why because if x is uh, for example let's suppose x is uh, x will be equal let me say two points so negative 5 negative 6 negative 7 negative 8 for all those values here in the absolute value for example absolute value of negative 7 is greater than 4 that's true that's correct if it's the absolute value of negative 8 that's correct too so all these numbers are possible solutions for this inequality but also if x is greater than 4 means that x is equal it could be 5 6 7 8 20 100 for all those values of x it's true that it will be greater than 4 so that's why we write two conditions x is greater than 4 and x is less than negative 4 so when we have a complex exercise we have to write those two conditions that's what we're gonna do right now so how do we solve that one we do 2x plus 5 is greater than negative 4 but also we have to do 2x plus 5 less than 4 so here what you do is uh, you solve normally as you know how to do it this positive 5 well it's negative 5 on the other side so 2x is less than 4 minus 5 negative 1 and then x is less than negative 1 divided by 2 so all this number less than negative 1 half it will be a solution for that one and in the other side we do the same this um, positive 5 will be here minus 5 subtract 5 both sides so 2x is greater than negative 4 minus 5 will be negative 9 x is equal negative 9 divided by 2 so this one is negative 0 0.5 and this one is negative 4.5 so those two are solutions for this um, inequality and that's where the two conditions come from what we explained before and this is not as I said before this is not obvious some people just put the two conditions but not everybody knows the why behind this topic that's what I want to make uh, this video to help student who likes math understand the behind the scenes let's call it like that thank you for watching and have a great day god bless you